What's going on guys? t Wells here back with another video. Shout out to J.Y. Allen. He asked a very good question. He said, t Wells, what are some, or what are the best ways to impress HR without experience? Okay guys, I know all of you really want to get into this process operator job. It's a great job, great career, but you run into an issue. You don't have experience and more specifically, you don't have industrial experience. Okay. Now, the best way to impress HR are going to be the intangibles, guys. Your communication skills. How well do you communicate? Also, your appearance. You know, are you clean shaved? Are you dressed nice? And I have a video on this um, on my channel. You check that out. Uh, another thing too, guys, if you are a student, hopefully you have your P-TECH degree, you're going to have to emphasize your degree and that you are a person that loves to learn and you're highly trainable, okay? You like to train. You have no problem training. You have no problem following directions, okay? It's going to be things like that. Also, too, showing up early. You know, you want to show up early to these interviews, um, you want to make sure that you're prepared, guys. All, all these little small things, your resume, and you're not gonna have much on your resume. And even though you don't have much on your resume, what's on there, you need to emphasize a lot. That'd be your school, you know, your GPA. Um, if you have any type of job, you know, I don't care if you work at Chick-fil-A, Home Depot, what some type of work experience to where you've Follow a schedule, you know, that will help you, okay? You might not have the industrial experience where you, you know, grinding out 12 hours of shift or, you know, working weekends, working 20 days in a row, 14 days in a row, 10 days in a row. You know, if you have any type of work experience, that'd be good. I remember um, back when I did my internship, I had a job, guys, when I was in college. You know, I had a little part-time job. I worked over at, you know, Walmart. Worked at Walmart, worked in the produce section. Hey, I emphasize that, you know, I was never late to work. You know, I was able to follow the schedule, you know. I also um, emphasize that we have certain procedures at Walmart that we have to follow, certain policies. You know, you kind of get a little experience in that realm that can convert over into the process operator job. Because in the facilities, guys, you're going to have policies. You're going to have schedules that you're going to have to follow. You know, also to working in a crew, you're going to work in a crew, you know, and work by yourself. I did those things while I was at Walmart. You know, it wasn't just me working in the produce section. I worked with three other guys. Also, too, there are times when I had to work alone and still complete job assignments. All of these things can transfer over into the process operator job. OK. Um, you have to emphasize what you already have. At, at this point. So if you didn't work, let's say you didn't work at Walmart, but you were in school and you did very well in school, you did great on projects, you know, talk about the projects that you worked on. I'm pretty sure you've been assigned at least one project while you're in school. Hopefully in college, you, you had to do some as well. Um, working in groups, you know, studying in groups, things like that. Um, sticking to a schedule. School is a schedule, guys. You have to be at class a certain time. Hey, never being late for class, never missing a class. You know, all of these things will transfer over and they will impress HR. Now, if you have absolutely no industrial experience and uh, you're trying to get into process operation, I suggest that you apply for an internship first. And the internship is going to do two things. One is going to give you kind of a snapshot of what this type of work is going to be like. So you can decide there like, hey, you know, operations may not be for me. You know, I, I, I don't like working at night. You know, I don't like working on the weekends, you know, or things like that. That may be an issue for you, you know. Also, two, it's going to give you the room for error. So let's say you go to the internship you're struggling, you know, doing the job duties. 
You know, you're not understanding the concepts. You're not understanding how a unit actually works and processes uh, feed, you know, into a product, okay? With that, at the end of the internship, instead of you losing a full-time job, which will look really bad on a resume, if you didn't do too well at the internship, it's, it's, not, it's not as bad as if it was a full-time job. You know, getting fired from a full-time job because you can't do it. When you try to go work somewhere else and say you want to get back into operations, it's going to be very difficult for you to get into that position again. Okay? Now, internship, they kind of, they, they, they just want to see your effort level, guys. That's, that's pretty much it. Regardless if you, you're not understanding concepts or you, you're struggling, if they see a high level of effort and they see improvement over the course of, three months, six months, some internships in one year, you know, then you have a better shot getting landing that full-time job, okay? So that's just my advice. I, that's what I did. I took an internship right out of college. From the internship, I then applied for full-time positions and I was ready when I got to my full-time position, okay? Now, you don't have to go this route, but to me, it's the... It's the better route, in my opinion. Plus, you have time, guys. You know, if you're 20 years old, 21, 22, you know, you're, you're a young person out here, you got the time to, you may decide to go back to school. You know, after the internship, you're like, hey, this, this type of schedule is really not, you know, I didn't think it was going to be like this. Because you may not land the internship with a schedule like mine, where you get a week off every month. You may have to work every week. You might get every other weekend off. You may work four days on, four days off. You don't know what schedule you're going to get that you may or may not like. You know, you might do the week on, week off. You know, I've, I've talked to interns who've done that. So that's how you can um, that's how you can impress HR with no experience, guys. Going back to the beginning of the video, you want to emphasize, you know, the intangibles, your attitude your willingness to learn, uh, working well with others, your communication skills, your appearance, how you dress, your body language, you know, sitting up, you know, not slouched down, not nervous, you know, things like that. And um, also too, guys, I suggest if you don't have any industrial experience at all, I would suggest that you do an internship first. This would be for you. And this would be beneficial to you to, let, to give you a kind of preview on what you, um, what you're gonna do as far as your career and if you're gonna like it or not, okay? Quick announcement, guys. I got a book dropping October 1st on process operations, as well as a course that'll help you go from A to Z, getting this job and getting to the money very quickly, very efficiently, and just any and everything dealing with process operations, guys. Be on the lookout for that. It's gonna drop October 1st and I will get with you guys in the next video. Peace.